Facebook AI Similarity Search, also known as FIFS. This is a vector library that was developed by the Facebook team. Now, what we're going to be using this in today's video is to store embeddings. Now, I've covered embeddings in another video, uh, but for this specific use case, what we're going to be doing is taking a full document, turning the document into chunks, then turning those chunks into embeddings, which we're going to essentially store these vector embeddings. What's great with being able to store these is we can do something called a similarity search. And I'll be showing you in this video how we can search a specific query within our vector library and find specific results within a document. So what we'll be covering specifically within Python code is showing a query example using the library also as a retriever and then also saving and loading a FICE index. A lot to cover but I promise I'm gonna break it down and make it as simple as possible. That being said, let's start coding. All right, so with Google Colab up, we're gonna to have to pip install a few things. Now, if you're using VS Code, you might already have this installed on your computer. Awesome, save yourself some time. Uh, with Colab, I don't believe all these are already built in, so you have to import them in. So ling chain, then ling chain, open AI, ling chain, community, and then also FICE CPU, so F-A-I-S-S -S CPU, and then also tick token like that. All right, I'm gonna run this, it'll probably take about a minute or so, I will see you in the future. All right, so now that this is all been pip installed, let's bring in our imports. So from ling chain underscore open AI, import open AI, uh, the community version is gonna get deprecated in the future. So make sure you have this over here uh, from ling chain underscore community dot document loaders. We're gonna import in our text loader, text loader. Then from ling chain dot text splitter, import recursive character text splitter from ling chain open AI import open AI embeddings like that. So all this should be pretty familiar. Then here's the new stuff for this video. And uh, so from ling chain community dot vector stores import vice then from Link chain core. If I can type uh, vector stores import vector store retriever. And then lastly, from link chain dot chains import retrieval QA. And then one other thing we're gonna import in OS. Hopefully that should be everything in this video. I tried to put it at the very top. Uh, what we're gonna have to do is set up our open AI API key. I do this pretty easily. So environ like this, then just put your open AI API key, open AI API key, and don't publish your key if you're gonna publish your notebook. Um, but I'm just gonna really quick put my key in over here. Your key should start with an SK and like this, and you can grab it on the OpenAI website. I covered it in the first video in the series, um, but make sure you grab your key, you put it here and you run the cell. I'll be pausing the video here. I'll put my key in, run the cell, delete my key, and then we can keep moving forward. All right, so my key has been added. Now we're gonna start doing some fun stuff. Uh, now that the annoying imports are all done. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is the loader. We're just gonna do a text loader and keep it pretty basic for this video. So text loader, and we can essentially bring in a piece of text. Now, what I'm personally gonna be bringing in over here is a text document about Metallica. So all I can do that is I can grab this folder over here and throw in this. Now, the text that I grabbed on this Metallica, I'll just load it up to show you guys. I literally just copied and pasted Metallica's Wikipedia page in here. So it doesn't have a ton of text, but it's still good to chunk this. And um, yeah, we're gonna use a recursive text splitter to do that specifically. And you'll see why we wanna chunk this too, especially when we get some of our results. 
uh, from this vector library that we create. But feel free to literally just go to Wikipedia, copy, um, I'll, I'll show you the article too. Wikipedia, right? So load up Wikipedia, and I had that on my second screen, but we'll put Metallica over here and literally just grab all this, copy and paste it into a text document. That's literally all I did. And yeah, I've seen Metallica a few years ago. I saw him with Avenged Sunfold and also Volbeat, uh, one of the bands that got me into metal music. But regardless, so we're gonna have to put our text loader over here. Let's put our document. So Metallica.text over here like this, and we can run that. And we have this in our loader. Now, to create our document, you just say documents equals our loader, and then you load this in. So dot load, cover this again in another video, but uh, put that in over here. And now we can set up our text splitter. So we can say text splitter. And honestly, if you did want to see this document, just to show you really quick, just put documents over here. You could print this out. Um, but this is what I showed you in that text document, right? All this has uh, been put in over here. So a lot of text, um, Metallica, I've done a lot of things. So I'm personally just going to delete this cell. It's taking a little bit too much space, um, but that's how we can do that. Uh, let's do our text splitter now. So text splitter equals our recursive character text splitter. Thank you for completing that. And um, we're going to do a chunk size of just 500. Nothing like too crazy on here. So on 500, we'll do a chunk overlap of zero. And um, you can mess with these results, uh, mess with these numbers to see if you get better results. But personally, like since this is just a demo video, and there's really like no functionality behind it besides it being a demo video. It doesn't really matter too much, but we're gonna do length function equals length like this. And uh, our recursive text splitter is great now. We'll build a few more cells. Then we're gonna do docs over here. So docs, and we're gonna say that's equal to our text splitter. So grab your text splitter here, copy or paste it or type it out. And then we'll say split documents. I don't even know what I just typed out there, but We'll do split documents like that. Then we'll throw our document in here or documents throw that in there like this. And if you want to see how all these chunks look, right? Docs, we can do over here zero, right? And I, I covered this again in more detail in the other video. So watch that if you're not too familiar, but this would like what their first doc would look like. Our first 500 over here, docs one, right? Docs two. And this is just off of the recursive text player that we set up. So, and you can also just do length, throw docs in here, right? And you can see that there's 133 different chunks. I guess I could have just put, let's, just for clarity's sake, I'll put docs zero over here, uh, just to keep that over, but uh, docs zero. And you can see there's 133 different chunks that were created from that Wikipedia article. All right, so now what we're gonna do is set up our embeddings. So embeddings, and I'm gonna just do the built-in open AI embeddings that we already have over here. So uh, we can just do open AI embeddings like this. And um, remember, this is gonna be like a vector representation. So each chunk will end up being like, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.3. And there's a lot more of these, right? You're not gonna only have, what, four here. Um, it, it's greatly expanded, but just think about how it's gonna be uh, built out like on that side of things. And this is what we're gonna be sending over to our vector library. Um, so let's set up our library now. So what we're gonna do is library equals FICE. So F-A-I-S-S, -S. it should actually be all capitalized like that, dot from documents. And this makes it super easy, right? So what we're gonna do first is throw in our documents and we labeled each of these as docs. So that's gonna be our first input. And then our second input is our embeddings. Well, we use these embeddings over here, the OpenAI embeddings, throw that in here, and this will run. Awesome, okay. So what I wanna show you first is how we can query this. So essentially we can query this whole document and ask questions on it. So let's set up our first query. So uh, we're gonna do query one, and our query one is gonna be who replaced Cliff Burden so who replaced Cliff Burton in Metallica? And technically there's only one answer to it. You could say two because of the different bases that are in Metallica, but uh, that'll be our first query. So 
Let's find our answer. So to find the query answer, we can say query underscore answer like this. We can say equals library dot similarity search. And this is what uh, Fice is really good for, similarity search. And we can just put our query one in here. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking a look at this vector library. And we're doing a similarity search based off of who replaced Cliff Burton. So it's gonna analyze this whole Wikipedia article and try to find essentially a chunk that answers this question. So let's put that in over here, okay? And to get the results on this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say print like this, and we're gonna put query score answer, and let's put zero over here. So kind of like where I showed you guys this docs over here, uh, the best result is gonna be zero. So that's what we're gonna put over here, query answer is zero. And then you just put dot page content. So page underscore content. And I did demo this before, it did work. So I'm crossing my fingers so it works again. And let's put this over here. So Burden's death left Metallica's future in doubt. The three remaining members decided Burden would want them to carry on. And with the Burden's family blessing, the band sought a replacement. Roughly 40 people, including childhood friend Primus Prong and Jason New said, of Flotsam and Jetsam, who, by the way, still apparently tours audition for the band to fill burn spot. He said, learn Metallica's entire set list after the audition. Metallica invited him to Tommy's, which I assume if this chunk continued, uh, it cuts off here, but they would talk about him joining the band because he did join the band, right? Uh, Robert's now the basis of Metallica. So technically you could say he replaced Cliff as well, but he ended up placing Jason. Um, we're going to put query answer one over here and see what the second best result would be. And you'll see why or kind of how this works a little bit in the future. But um, they talk about this over here. He just followed all the burden initially just declined to offer in the year, except in the condition. So this just talks about burden joining Metallica, I assume right over here, um, 1983. Okay, so like this was the second best answer, but this obviously was the best answer. It gave us what we specifically needed uh, almost, right? Like probably just a little bit more later in the sentence it would say it, but that's where we our recursive text splitter uh, decided to split that. So I wanna show you the similarity search this time and the scoring behind it. And the way that you could do this and kind of how it chooses like what number zero or number one specifically behind this, let's do this. So uh, we can say docs and scores. And I just grabbed this name from the documentation. Uh, we can say library dot similarity search with score okay and then we'll just throw our query one in here again so query one and each of these are going to be assigned to score this time assuming that it gives us the same results so what we're going to do this time is we're going to have docs and scores we're going to put zero over here and let's see what we specifically get so same exact thing right the tommy's over here source metallica.txt which we talked about we imported in over here and this has a score of 0 0.23 so uh, we want to have a score closer to zero that means we have better results 0 0.23 so let's see what docs and scores one looks like a little bit behind the scenes of how this works um but you can see it's a 0 0.29 right and uh let's see what two would be as well so kind of a cool way that you could kind of debug and also see specifically what's going on. And then I guess, oh yeah, so here we go. This is two, this ends up going past over here, right? In San Francisco, Headfield Origin, Kurt Hammett decided Newstead as Burton's, repla or Burton's replacement, his first live performance in Metallica at the Country Club in California. Members initiated Newstead by tricking him to eating a bowl of wasabi. Um, man. That's kind of funny. It, it reminds me of when I was in high school, I did math competitions. There's a guy in my math team would literally eat wasabi, gave him five bucks, ate a bunch of wasabi, and uh, did not impact them at all, which is crazy. But all right, cool. We have that over here. And just a little bit of background information retrievers don't necessarily need to store documents, but it can retrieve them. Um, and vector stores can be used as the backbone of a retriever. Uh, but there are other type of retrievers as well. And this is just some text that I grabbed from the documentation, but let's build out our retriever on this side of things. So retriever like this equals library 
but as retriever like this over here all right so now we have that specifically then we can say over here or is our qa equals retrieval qa like that dot from chain type okay we're gonna set our lm equal to open ai you could declare this outside if you want to use a specific model or not then we're going to say chain type equals stuff over here. Oops. And then lastly, we're going to say retriever equals retriever. And we're going to do this another time a little bit later in this video, but uh, we should have that now. Okay. Build a few more lines of code. Then let's set up a new retriever query. So just to ask another question. So retriever query, and we're gonna say equals, what is the most hated Metallica album? Which everyone should know is St. Anger, but uh, let's see if we can grab that from the Wikipedia article. Then we can go over here and say results equals qa.invoke and throw this query in here. All right, and now let's print these results. Print, and we'll throw our results in over here. And it says, what is the most hated Metallica album? I don't know. Well, that's not what I got originally when I ran this. So maybe we'll have to tweak this again. What is the most hated Metallica album? Let's say what Metallica album do fans hate the most and like i said this worked originally when i did this and i tested a few times so this, let's see oh there we go what metallica album do fans hate the most result saint anger 2003 so it is working on this side of things uh, now that we just slightly modified this query over here um all right we're gonna do this one more time but i just want to show you how we can save uh, our FICE index. So that way we don't have to essentially recreate it every time. So let's do that. Um, pretty easy. So library dot save underscore local like this, then save as a specific name that you want. I'm just gonna name it as FICE index Metallica like that, all right. All right, and then what I'm gonna say over here for this next line is we'll say Metallica saved equals and then we're going to say this is a dot load local then just grab our name over here and then grab embedding that we already declared a little bit earlier which our embedding go back over here right is this open ai embeddings we set up so now that's over here i'm going to reuse some code so we had this code over here for QA. Uh, so put that over here, retrieval. This time we're gonna change this up. So instead of retriever, we'll put Metallica saved. And then we're gonna put as underscore retriever like this, All right? And run that. And then we wanna get our results again, All right? Results equals QA.invoke, retriever query, run that. And if we wanna see our final results, let's print results again. What is Metallica album do fans hate the most? And the answer is, it is difficult to say which Metallica album fans hate the most as opinions of the album vary. However, some man, however, some fans may dislike their eighth album, St. Anger, due to its departure from their traditional sound and mixed reactions from critics. Well, I think most people hated that snare and also the lack of solos. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I hope you found some great information in here and you learned something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's 100% for free, but it does show signals to YouTube's algorithm that A, people do enjoy these videos, and B, uh, there's an audience of people that are, whether data analysts, data scientists, or even interested in AI that continue to watch these videos and support the channel. Now, if you wanna watch other videos on the channel, I upload about two to three times a week as I learn new skills. Right now, I'm heavily focusing on 
the open AI Langchain side of things. And I'm making a full playlist right over here. So make sure to check it for new videos.